Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video I'll be showing you guys the latest 2025 method to set up and run the Xbox simulator on your Android devices to emulate your favorite original Xbox games directly on your mobile devices pretty easily in just few steps. Now the emulator that we'll be using in today's video is the original Xbox simulator known as Zemu. Now Zemu is an Xbox simulator which has released officially for PC, for Windows and Linux even ARM64 Windows build. We previously saw the ARM64 port of Zemu emulator for Android devices but unfortunately there haven't been any major developments regarding that project so in today's video we'll be trying out a completely brand new method which is very stable and optimized in terms of Xbox simulation we'll be using the game hub windows emulator which is performance oriented to emulate Xbox games on Android so before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel let's get started alright guys to get started as I mentioned before we'll be using an windows emulator for Android known as the game hub emulator you guys can check out the video on how to set up this emulator on your mobile device on the iCard above anyways once you add the game hub emulator on your android device we'll need to import the zemu xbox emulator on our android device you guys already know zemu is an open source original xbox emulator for windows mac and linux i have already added its pc version on my android device so what we'll be doing is tapping on the menu option afterwards we'll need to go to games go to pc game section scroll down and tap on the plus button Afterwards, you'll need to navigate to the place where you have stored your PC version of the Zemu emulator on your Android device. So here I'll just go ahead and select the Zemu emulator after tap on the confirm button. And as you guys can see, this original Xbox emulator has been added in the Game Hub emulator. So first of all, we'll need to set up Game Hub emulator for Zemu to make sure that it runs properly without any issues. In terms of game resolution, we'll be going with 800 by 600 for best performance. Afterwards, in compatibility, we'll go to translation parameters and set it to performance. Once that has been done, go back. GPU driver, you can set it as the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno driver 25.2.0 revision 5. But for today's video, I'll be going with Snapdragon 8 Elite. My device has Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. If you have a Mali GPU Android device, go with system graphics driver. In terms of DXVK, we'll be keeping it as default and everything else, you can set it as default. Once that has been done, go to input mapping. This is very important. Go to switch input mapping. Afterwards, make sure to choose the third option, which is the keyboard and mouse layout. Only keyboard and mouse layout works in the Zemu emulator. So this is very important. Once that has been done, we have applied the best settings for Zemu. So guys, I have actually shifted to my tablet because Zemu emulator does not work on Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android devices. It only works on older Snapdragon processor Android devices. So once you have added the emulator, make sure to tap on the play now button. So here you guys will be immediately able to see Zemu emulator has successfully started and we'll need to configure machine settings to get the simulator running. Once you see that our Zemu emulator has successfully booted, you'll need to tap on settings afterwards. Make sure to exit the simulator because the way you set it up is a bit complex. So you'll need to go to game settings afterwards. Make sure to open the enter container desktop options. And here you'll need to go to my computer afterwards. Go to the folder where you have stored the Zemu emulator. So now I'll launch Zemu emulator from the container version and here you'll need to tap on settings and make sure to import the mcpx as well as flash rom and hard disk you'll need to locate the folder where you have stored all the zemu emulator stuff such as the bios boot as well as hard disk so let's first of all select the boot afterwards make sure to add the bios as well and then choose the hard disk once that has been done you'll need to restart your zemu emulator for that simply tap on the cross button afterwards tap on this cross and make sure to restart the simulator and this time if everything has been set up properly you'll be able to see an xbox boot intro screen inside this windows emulator for android so as you guys can see our zemu emulator has successfully started and we have the xbox boot up screen what we'll need to do is now go to settings enable full screen afterwards you'll need to tap on machine make sure to go to the load disk option and here you'll need to select your xbox game so here i'll scroll up afterwards select the xbox game that we'll be emulating in today's video rainbow 63 so let's tap on the open button afterwards you'll need to restart your zemu emulator once again so close it afterwards double tap on zemu and there we go as you guys can see tom clancy's rainbow 63 has successfully started now the first thing that we'll do is go to machine afterwards go to settings and then go to input controls here you'll need to tap on not connected and make sure to set as keyboard once that has been done simply tap on the cross button and now you'll need to enable the input mapping that i showed you guys before the keyboard and mouse layout so let's go back afterwards enable input mapping and then simply tap the enter button and as you guys can see our game is loading now how well does an xbox game work depends on your device specification it is recommended that you have at least snapdragon 888 processor or 
or above if you also want to emulate Xbox games on your Android device and you need to have at least 6GB of RAM. Now let's talk about the possible best settings for Zemu emulator. In terms of display mode, set it to stretch so you guys can see our Tom Clancy Rainbow Six 3 is actually working inside this emulator. Now the performance is not that amazing because Xbox games cannot be emulated at full speed unless you are running the ARM64 version of Zemu emulator on your Android device using Termux which is a lot more complicated because to import games in that version of Zemu emulator it just doesn't work. Well I have good news guys one of the official developer of Zemu emulator is actually working on the Android port. So the Android ARM64 version of Zemu emulator is also releasing pretty soon. So that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and peace out.